Volatility Decay Understanding the Hidden Risk in Leveraged ETFs Volatility decay is a critical concept for investors to understand, particularly when dealing with leveraged exchange-traded funds ETFs. This phenomenon can significantly impact returns over time, often in ways that are not immediately apparent. Let's explore what volatility decay is, how it works, and why it matters for your investment strategy. What is volatility decay? Volatility decay, also known as beta slippage or time decay, refers to the tendency of leveraged ETFs to lose value over time in volatile markets, even if the underlying index they track ends up flat. This effect is more pronounced in funds with higher leverage ratios and during periods of increased market volatility. How Volatility Decay Works To understand volatility decay, it's essential to grasp how leveraged ETFs operate. These funds use financial derivatives and debt to amplify the daily returns of an underlying index. For example, a 2x leveraged S&P 500 ETF aims to deliver twice the daily return of the S&P 500 index. The key word here is daily. Leveraged ETFs reset their exposure each day to maintain their stated leverage ratio. This daily rebalancing is the primary cause of volatility decay. Example 1, the impact of volatility decay in a flat market. Let's consider a hypothetical 2x leveraged ETF tracking an index with an initial value of $100. Suppose the index experiences the following price movements over 4 days. Day 1, plus 10%. Day 2, minus 10%. Day 3, plus 10%. Day 4, minus 10%. At the end of these 4 days, the index will be back at $100. However, the 2x leveraged ETF will perform as follows. Day 1, plus 20%, ETF value, $120. Day 2, minus 20%, ETF value, $96. Day 3, plus 20%, ETF value, $115.20. Day 4, minus 20%, ETF value, $92.16. Despite the underlying index returning to its starting point, the leveraged ETF has lost nearly 8% of its value due to volatility decay. Why Volatility Decay Matters Compounding Effects Over longer holding periods, the effects of volatility decay can compound, leading to significant divergence from the expected returns based on the fund's stated leverage ratio. Increased Risk in Volatile Markets Volatility decay is more pronounced during periods of high market volatility, potentially leading to larger-than-expected losses. Long-Term Performance Drag for investors holding leveraged ETFs for extended periods, volatility decay can substantially erode returns, even if the underlying index trends upward over time. Example 2, Long-Term Impact on Bull Market Returns Consider a scenario where an index rises 10% per year for three years, with some daily volatility. A non-leveraged ETF tracking this index might return about 33% over three years, ignoring compounding for simplicity. One might expect a 2x leveraged ETF to return around 66% over the same period. However, due to volatility decay, the actual return could be significantly less, perhaps only 50-60%, to depending on the daily volatility experienced. Strategies to Mitigate Volatility Decay Risk Short-Term Trading Use leveraged ETFs for short-term trading or hedging rather than as long-term investments. Regular Rebalancing If holding leveraged ETFs for longer periods, consider regularly rebalancing your portfolio to manage exposure. Thorough Research Understand the specific mechanics and costs associated with any leveraged ETF before investing. Alternative Strategies For long-term leveraged exposure, 
consider alternative strategies such as options or margin trading, which may offer more predictable outcomes. Volatility decay is a complex but crucial concept for investors to grasp when dealing with leveraged ETFs. While these instruments can offer powerful short-term trading and hedging opportunities, they carry unique risks that can lead to unexpected outcomes, especially over longer holding periods. By understanding volatility decay and implementing appropriate strategies, investors can make more informed decisions and better manage their portfolio risks.